Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Not Include, it clears amazing space colony simulator. Extraordinaire, we are playing the DLC, the spaced out DLC. My name is Twitchy and we're on the LV426 and I have power issues. At the moment we are going around and we are doing almost everything by the power of the hamster wheel. Oh, you can see Bishop there having a bit of a bad time. Uh, and I think that we can do a little bit better than this. I was wondering whether we could use the pug slugs. They are, of course, animals that provide a little bit of power, but they really do provide a little bit of power and they want to consume your metal ore to provide more I don't think that's the winner so my my goal is to either try and get solar power on the go but that requires a uh, like glass and metals and stuff like that or we go through to the other other asteroid over here and we try and round up some hatch and we have ourselves a little bit of coal power I think that look, 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 they've got one down here as oh well that they got a puffed over here might be the thing that we need to do but first I have a big question for you guys normally what happens I have this uh, this kind of like format at the moment where I state my big problem today it's power and then go around and fix a few other things that are going on in the base for, for instance for instance i'd like to really have a complete up and down way going through here but we can't just do that because there's water that's going to drop down so we need to put like some sort of door system in here uh, and i want to know from you guys whether you are okay with this kind of doing a little bit here and there format would you rather that i just saved it for doing sa saved the oh Oh, that's not going to work like that, is it? Uh, saved um, the entire episode just for doing whatever the big problem is. Not going around and doing these little issues. I don't think that's going to work like that. I don't think that's going to work like that at all. Let's, in fact... Okay, much better. That that That's how we do that. Got a little lock in the in the go there. Uh, and, and, you know, I spent the first, like, half an episode going around. Maybe maybe quarter of an episode fixing problems. Making making Bishop great. Because, look... So look, bishops, bishops, um, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Stress at the moment is just absolutely maxed out. Now, Bishop spends his, play, his time in a few places. This is one of them. So I'm going to come through. Oh, how do we make this feel a little bit nicer? I think the first thing we're going to do is to replace the floor tiles with granite. He's here the whole time. Uh, and these uh, insulated tiles, if we come over to the decor overlay, uh, they are responsible for a fair bit of the negative decor around here. In fact, I might even move the uh, move the, the area entirely. Uh, should, we, should we think about doing that? This is sedimentary rock up here. If I get the, uh, the granite and then select this entire thing to be granite, maybe we can move our manual generator because we've got three of them I think on the go we've got three power circuits one two three I think we can move all our power to jet to a centralized point here and then use this flower pot to make everyone feel kind of nice about what's going on something like this I believe something like this right we're gonna let them get on with that we've got to let them get on with opening up the the big tank I still think I want to move this little tank here it's kind of in the way the same with uh, basically this entire setup here I feel like we can move this as well I am more than a little bit worried about Bishop here. He is having a lot of troubles. His stress has actually gone all the way up here. I'm trying to figure out what we can do. Obviously, making his working environment much nicer is a winner. And, of course, we've also given him some clothes, I do believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got he's got clothing equipped here. So he's kind of doing the best he can, but we'll, we'll just have to see what he can do. Look at that. The change per cycle is minus 15%. Maybe maybe we just need to wait. Yeah, look, 98%. Much better, right? Much better. <laughs> Oh, we got two little notifications. We've got research complete, fireman pole, and temperature shift play. What am I going for here? I have no idea. And then, also, we have earned ourselves a turn of the century achievement. We just made it to cycle 100. Wow, guys. Of course, the fire pole is on the way to opening up the smart storage. This is what we need. I thought I'd already researched that. Have we jumped back in time? I sure do hope not. That would mean I've lost a save somewhere along the line. <laughs> Okay, power system somewhat tidied up and juiced up. I'm not loving the amount of debris on the floor. It's literally everything that's going on there. 80 negative from the debris, 75 from the marshmallow. we got to get that stuff tidied up. Let's go and have a look at our storage area over here. It's full. It's full to bursting. Uh, there is a better system for doing this. Uh, there's a way of using the sweeping system. Let's come up here. Uh, not this one. This one over here. Using the, the conveyor chute to drop everything into one pile. And then uh, all the duplicates need to do is focus on that one pile when they're passed finding and it also gets everything uh not in a massive great big stack of stuff like this and that that would also be good you know look at all those nines what okay okay let's let's lower those back down the pickups i understand why they're on nine because we want this place tidied up but ah. okay with the new one open and i believe it's set to sweep only i'm just gonna um <clears throat> do that quick and get everybody to come along and sweep this stuff up that's why i'm hoping that there seems to be extra stuff everywhere let's uh 
get rid of those. And hopefully we'll just concentrate on this then. Uh, also, this this would be nice. I believe this is only stirring, uh, storing polluted dirt. So let's also ask for that to get done. These should not be storing polluted dirt now. Polluted dirt. Let's turn that off. Copy settings across. Uh, let's copy the settings of one that's not on uh, super high priority. Okay, co copy those settings. All of you. All of you. Okay, it's taken extraordinary use of the alarm system, but we have finally got everyone to move the bits away from the work area over here. And I want to know, I want to know. Look at that, beautiful. We've got a positive decor of like 90 in the middle. That's nice, that's nice. It gets a little bit bad along the outside, but we'll uh, we'll figure out what to do about that one day. I'm guessing like the, yeah, the ladders and the wires and all that sort of stuff. Got something to say of that. It's still positive though, and that's good. Okay, now moving on with this little lock over here. Obviously, the water from up there was our big concern. Uh, random randomers. I've seen people get skin irritation coming into the pure hydrogen atmosphere here. Now, I didn't think hydrogen caused irritation, but it turns out that it does. Is there anything to tell us about that in here? No. Properties. Gas unbreathable. Yeah, nothing about poison, nothing about irritant. Hmm, I don't know. I'm just going to go ahead and get the entire medicine line in one go, I think. Random Randomers doing his job on the uh, on the little treadmill there. He's powering up for the supercomputer to do the research. So, yeah, that's cool. I'm fine with that. Oh, th things are melting and things aren't ready. Uh, I mean, I suppose it's okay. I suppose that's okay. Can we, we can actually mop that. That's cool. And things are getting swapped into... Swapped? Yeah, swept into the, uh, the water here. So, I, I think I'm generally fine with how this is working. Maybe what I want to do is grab these tiles here and break that one. Just for a little bit of a water trap. Just in case. Alright, water trap in its place. Let's uh, sweep all that up. A lot of it doesn't look like it's got anywhere to go. That's a bit of a shame. Thankfully, Hicks going along finishing the tank up. Are we going to be able to keep these uh, these Paku here? I think I think we might. Oh no, they're, they're eating bog bucket seeds. What? What? Sweep it up, man. Sweep it up. Uh, they're eating it. It's going. It's going to disappear. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm that bothered. But I'm kind of bothered. Oh, where'd she go? Did you guys see that? She, what? Oh, wow, all the way up that. What? What just happened there? That was crazy. She, like, Hicks dug out underneath Honza. Honza fell and then just teleported up there. I, I'm going to have to watch that footage back myself and see what happened. Bishop back down to a stress of 42. All right, that, that's good. Good works there. Good works. Okay, one last thing before I start thinking about how to go for the hatches. Up here near the top, it, it's near the top, but it's not at the top. I've started going uh, across uh, left and right to try and expose the entire asteroid. I don't, I'm not sure whether it's going to work, but I definitely want to give it a go. You might see that I've got a little bit of a, 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 a tunnel bore on the go down here. A bore tunnel, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and I want to do the same here, uh, but I think I want to do it at the bottom edge of this abyssalite. Something like that. Is two enough? Is two enough? I, I think so. Oh, hello. What have we got here? Colony lacks super hard thing. I, I kind of disagree. What? Oh, well, we'll let Hicks get on with this slowly over time. Of course, the ones up here have a higher priority, or rather they've been down for longer. I don't, I don't know exactly how that works. And we'll let him get on with that. Cruising through the research. So it turns out, we're watching Ripley run back and forth here, that we should have put these composts over with the farm, or the farms over with the compost. I don't know, I don't I don't really care which way around it goes, but that's because Ripley needs to do both. Uh, she is the girl that can tend to the plants and tend to the compost. So yeah, we definitely should have, maybe we could move the compost down here. I don't think it would be the end of the world if we did so. And it would also leave up a whole bunch of, uh, loosen up, sorry. Free up? I don't know, whichever one. Uh, a whole bunch of space over here for oxygen and stuff. Wouldn't it be nice to make a Rodriguez over here that would power itself by its own hydrogen? That that would be pretty cool. It is going to mean moving all of this over here, though. It, it can be done. It can be done. That's just going to be a slow burn ticking off in the background somewhere, I think. Mm, Hicks telling me he really doesn't have it. And we can just match the amount of morale he's got. Let's do it and let's watch Hicks slowly descend into madness. All right, there's the Neutronium wall. I think we'll just class that as good. Leave this last layer of Abyssalite up and standing. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. So we got we got this exposed. That's cool. Okay, Hicks is leveling out or staying at 0% stress. What about it? Or oh, 5% stress. Why has that gone up? Who knows? It's because he's wet. It says he's sopping wet. We'll have to try. Ah, oh, it's over here, right? Look at the liquids. All right, let's try and get this all mopped up. That's going to get worse as time goes on as well. 
Wait, 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 wait. Random randomers can dig abyssalite. I forgot all about that. I am super tempted to rush solar panels. I, th I think I might. I think I might. Oh, here it is at the end here. It's not it's, it's not that far away. Four bits of research. Yeah, I'm going to let them do it. I'm going to let them do it. And then horrifically destroy my base whilst trying to shoehorn uh, metal production and glass production into the network that we've got. Oh, it's going to be painful. But when we're done, we'll have a whole bunch of solar panels, hopefully stretching from one side to the other. An exosuit really wouldn't go amiss as well, I suppose. Okay, so Hicks has been going on and doing the business, opened up quite a bit of a passageway here, but as you can see, he's at 90% stress. Now, we've given him a fairly nice bedroom, but we could also upgrade that, but I have another plan, another plan over here. You can see that we've got Swampy Delights. That gives us a little bit better um, morale than the... Let's see if we can find one just kicking around somewhere. Oh, it doesn't look like we have them. There's one, the bog jelly. Let's have a look in here. It's a terrible a zero point, uh, a zero meal, uh, whereas the poor gives us a plus one, uh, which is uh, better than he's currently rocking. Let's have a look at his morale. He's just he's right on the edge. He gets no, I, I believe right on the edge actually gives him a yeah sufficient morale minus five. He need he needs abundant morale surely. The soggy feet also don't help. So we need to get someone up here doing the power <laughs> once again, turning up to nine. I wonder how many we have now. I, do kind of go around and try and turn them back down, but uh, it doesn't always work out. It's yeah, surprisingly few for me. Surprisingly few. How is zero calories? How how has this happened? What? Also, we're having... Well, this is probably it, actually. We're having a bit of a bol uh, body temperature problem around here. So I've put down a space heater. It's running off of this power system up here, the one for the kitchen. Ah, look, here we go. Brilliant. Uh, we, we don't have any of these, but I'm going to go forever. We don't have any of these, but I'm going to go forever because they are definitely what we need to be making. Maybe maybe also at a higher priority. Is this really what I want to do? Who's our chef? Who's our chef? Jonesy, are you, are you cooking top priority? Yeah. Oh no, what happened to the food? I don't understand. Fertilization? Have we run out of sulfur? Are we actually out of sulfur? The problem is, I don't know where it sits in here, but it kind of does look like it. Kind of does. Oh, there we go, sulfur. I've got, no, 326 tons. Uh, sorry, 32.6 tons somewhere. Where, where is the somewhere, though? Up here. Okay, Ripley's just not doing her job. Oh man, is this because she has to come over here? Like, yeah, look, look, this is this is the problem here. Okay, okay, let's put the farms up to six and turn the composters down to five and see if that does what we need. I mean, she's leaving. Let's hope. All right, there goes some more for uh, some more food. We're no longer completely out of food. We, we we're definitely not having a good time though. Blue, it has gone down. Right. Okay, so now that people are eating better food, let's turn this one that off, right? We're no, no more sp uh, spiny grub, grub fruit and no more bog jelly. We eat the end products only, thank you. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do, whilst we're running the other base, is send random randomers in. Oh, it's a bit of a shame that this is like the oxygen lock here. It could have been uh, could have been better. Maybe we could let them dig under here. But I want to start digging out little areas like this. Do you, do you think there's some hatches in here? There might be. So let's think about doing that, shall we? Now, how do I transfer on here? It's not T... Z... Zed, okay, fair enough. Starvation, wait, what? Well, we, we knew that was gonna be a thing. So how do we keep random randomers fed as well? I mean, we can we can say that we want these sent through, but honestly, I've got a feeling either it's gonna work one of two ways. Nothing's going through or all our food's going through. Oh, we got another achievement. What have we got? Bam, it's not raw. Have, you, uh, have a duplicate, eat any cooked meal, prepared an electric gas or gas range. Bam. I'm getting in there, climbing the tech ladder. I mean, he's just about to eat. Do we send him across now for a fun day in the morning? Let's do it. Let's do it. Already assigned? Oh, inspector, sorry. Yeah. Okay, come on, buddy. Let's let's get you down there. Can that happen? Ah, oh, you gotta go to sleep first, aren't you? All right. Hopefully, random random is going through on this morning. But I think I'm just gonna start cancelling some of these dig orders out here. Hicks Hicks can't do this anymore. He he's he's got to go get chill somewhere. He's at a uh, 92 percent. Yeah, it's not great. Oh, the animation for this is always so long. I forget. I forget. Pop. 
Is it gonna, is it gonna teleport me across? It is indeed. All right, beautiful. Me being the uh, the viewer, the player. All right, what I want to do down here is, uh, as I say, come and dig some of this lot out. It's very important. Not sure why I went this way first. Not sure at all. The worrying thing is I don't see any hatches just like running around. Does this star map give us any information? Unfortunately not. Oh man, we can't send power over the system. Uh, that's, that's kind of poor. That would have been great. Just have one, like maybe the swamp biome that does nothing but produce heat, carbon dioxide and power. Vent it all off to space. Have no one living there. Oh, that would be great. First uh, buried object, it was a blossom seed. That's a shame, that's a shame. We'll have to try and get a few of those through as well if we can. Uh, it would involve getting power to this, which I think we can do. Not, not in an elegant way, but we can do it. Oh, oh, we got our first hatch. Oh no, it is in the water. Okay, what are we gonna do? Like, we, we can wrangle, apart from we didn't bring the rancher with us. Do you reckon we could build a skill scrubber, train random randomers up, and scrub all the skills before he goes insane? I don't even know if we could put that in here. We need your egg. That's what we need. We need your egg. Oh, he's gone. I just came back to see whether I could send Ripley through or not, and I've not even looked yet, but my scar my carbon skimmer has pulled a vacuum, and this, this carbon dioxide isn't flowing through. It's uh, quite interesting. I've asked for people to come down and do the mopping, We'll, we'll see what happens with that. We're at quarter charge. Okay. I've been trying to figure out how we can just keep this hatch doing stuff. There's not another one down here. Okay. But if we get the egg, we can send the egg through, right? Sure, surely that's a thing. Okay, so we've got one active hatch on the map. I don't know if they're making him active, like take, take away all his uh, natural tiles so he can't sleep during the day. I don't know if that's going to have any effect right here. I feel like I just want to make a little ranch. Uh, I say a little ranch. They are uh, typically... Was it 4 by 24 to get the max size? Uh, that's 96, right? Uh, so, yeah, let's, let's start putting some stuff in for that. This guy's just going to be like my egg producer, if you will. He's just here to make more hatches. I don't even know. I mean, we, we might need to, as I say, stack random random as stats. Uh, I, yeah, I don't know if we can bring Ripley with us. Oh, we're, we're like one block short here. Okay, let's move this over. So it's good he's got a toilet here, that's nice. I uh, appear to have neglected to give him a bed. Oh, look, there's a bed. Beautiful. All right, looks like everyone's got everything they need. Oh, no. Oh, no. Stress vomiting. Hicks, what's go- Oh, you're, you're over here. No, this wasn't meant for now. This was just a plan for the future. Oh, how do we keep you in the base? 100%. Oh, no. The one thing I want to know, there's no germs. I, I am very surprised I mean that's that's free water <laughs> lovely body temperature water mm. <laughs> I mean we're just, we're just we're just gonna leave at least he's been like really pleasant about where he's done it he's found a little corner in the middle of nowhere to just kind of like Keep it all contained in a hole. We'll, we'll come along and deal with it later. Oh, look, this got made. I, I'm slowly but surely transitioning it, transitioning this area into a into a mess hall. Yeah, that's that, there we go. I totally blanked there for a second. I don't know why. Uh, into a mess hall. As soon as we can do that, I think people's uh, morale will be going up a little bit more. Okay, so on the other side, we built random random as a skill scrubber here. Let's go and uh, scrub those skills. I don't think we're gonna lose anything from this. I, don't, I think this is a lossless process, but uh, don't don't quote me on that. Ooh, ooh, it looks a little brutal. I hope he's gonna be okay. Oh man, it takes it takes some time, doesn't it? Do I have to do I have to worry about? Oxygen and stuff. I kind of did this. This is the first time I've ever done this. I don't know if you guys are aware uh, But yeah, I, I have no idea what we need to make sure is okay for him. Look that bar keeps coming up and I'm worried about that uh, Progress update on Hicks. He, he seems to have calmed down a little bit. Oh, uh, so instead he's come down to the other dank pit Dude, what is wrong with you? Well, at least he's got oxygen here. Oh incidentally, no, no oil just straight into magma. Welcome to the marsh. Free, free iron though, like refined iron, just just in this little biome here, it's cool. Oh look, oh look. Hmm, I'm wondering whether we could drop water down here through some sort of ingenious door system and then have a steam turbine turning all that steam into nice water for us. Hmm. Plan for the future though, plan for the future. Oh, we ran out of power? Oh dude, what? <laughs> 
How much? How much power is needed? Like, do we do we now have to start again? Is is that what? I I don't know. Okay, we, we've definitely got a power issue here, and also an airflow issue. I've just watched him twice now start running on the manual generator, and then as the carbon dioxide comes in, it stops him running. He'll get in the skill scrubber, get shaken around for two seconds, and then run out of power and have to come out. So I've put some mesh tiles down, uh, some airflow tiles, sorry, to see if we can have that. Look, there's oxygen down here. This would be great. So it wasn't the carbon dioxide. He's kept on stopping again. I've had to unassign him from here. I'm wondering now, because I've unassigned him, whether he's lost the, the bar. If so, I've set up another jumbo battery to be made. Hopefully two batteries will be enough. I'll keep an eye on how much power this does if it, if it doesn't. Uh, and we'll, we'll extrapolate from there, obviously. Okay, so he's done. Yeah, all right, let's go. Okay, thankfully, the, uh, the, the the bar was saved, so off he goes. Uh, it looks like three battery fools, maybe, I reckon. Okay, skills have been scrubbed. Let's reassign him. Where, where are you? Nobody here? I, I disagree. Okay, as much as he loves to, uh, to do the old research, we actually need him to be ranching. Can we do this? Can we give him a hat? I don't know. Let's find out. Will, will you accept a hat? You don't have access to the arch, so I'm not sure what you're going to do. Gonna go to... Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll leave you to do that. Let's not stare at him while he does that. Oh, guys, it's a slick. It's a slickster. Alright, cool. We're on the right place for oil. Realised that I have a bit of a carbon dioxide problem building up here, so I'm asked uh, for a little carbon scrubber system to be set up. I've got a carbon scrubber. I've got a water sieve. I'm gonna use this water down here to power it. Of course, uh, feeding into itself like this is an infinite loop. Uh, no, no extra water produced, none consumed, so it's uh, pretty good. So we are definitely going to have to think about getting random randomers back at some point. His stress is a climbing and troubles are happening. Do you reckon we can just very quickly get this built in place? I sure do hope so. Are we out of toilets? We are out of toilets. Dude, you got to come and deal with this first. So we need to send random randomers back and make him back into the uh, the researching god that he is and maybe breed a new duplicate. Yeah, because that's what we do in the Golden Arch. We breed them, of course. Uh, we need to uh, make a new farmer slash rancher. That's what we really need, ideally, if there is one available. If not, we need one or the other, you know? Well, actually, no, we need a rancher. That is definitely what we need. Oh, where's he going? I, I need you to come down this way. Oh, he picked up the local copper ore. All right, fair enough. The major problem, of course, it's just like look at look at look at the decor down here it's horrific maybe if we spent time cleaning up we could get something done but uh that that's what i'm kind of hoping the next person can do maybe we could get random randomers to build a uh a, a storage bin that's the word i was looking for a storage bin or two though of course i don't know i don't know maybe we just need to bug out Okay, water is being pumped. This means that we can start scrubbing some carbon from here. I'm not sure what... Ra oh, okay. Yeah, that, that's pretty good. Uh, in fact, if you could fill that up for a little bit to make sure that we have power down here. Now, as soon as he's like, oh, no, I've got no oxygen. I'm going to run away. Uh, we are going to send him back to the other asteroid. All right, that's the one. Let's do it. Let's do it. Here we go. Random randomers. Away you go, buddy. You're going to have to uh, run your way up there, but hopefully the environment should clean up a little bit while we're away and trying to find ourselves a brand new rancher. And away he goes. Yeah, that, that crab there, of course. P poke shell. I mean, what, what are crabs after all? All right, let's have a look around and see what people are doing here. All right, first, first I think we might need a skill scrubber here. We, we need to get random randomers back to what he's doing because there's no one, no one can research on the uh, the top level stuff here. So we need, we need to get random doing that. I think maybe getting the second level skill was a mistake. Let's have a look what the blueprints bring us. We've got a rancher. Okay, maybe. Uh, in fact, Ash can. That's very good. I'm going to call you Ash. Welcome to the team. Hmm, there's definitely a better... Oh, I might have to pause the game and go look up. Ash, Ash is a great character, but maybe he's not the guy to be the rancher. There was a guy in Alien 3 who looked after the ox. <sighs> might have to go and look him up. If Ash's name just suddenly changes, that you know what I've done. Random randomers up at 83. All right, we need to do something about that. Okay, random randomers spends almost all his life here, and he's quite stressed. So let's uh, let's make this place look a little bit nicer, shall we? The classic flower pot trick is a good one. The light also appears to be helping. That's pretty cool. Maybe we can get a flower pot on the other side as well. Not that I don't. Not that I know if we've got the furniture for doing so. There's granite, right? Yes. Uh, the seeds, sorry, not the furniture. I was just reading the tab there. Wow. Okay, so we've got the teleporter pod. I said I'd do it. Away Ash goes. He's going to go uh, try, try and 
coax an egg out of that hatch down there. We're going to set up a, a small little stable and uh, we're, I'm not sure if we're going to see the egg during this episode, but we're definitely going to be set up ready to send one back here at some point. All right, Ash, all our hopes are resting with you. Please, go make it work. And, and maybe people will be more chill on this side. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? All right, the first thing we need to do is try and figure out what food he can actually eat. Like, we got we got some, like, bristle blossoms and stuff up here. There's no, uh, no light for that, so that's probably not the best idea. Plus, we need, like, power for lights and stuff. I mean, are we just going to throw up some millwood somewhere? I think I think we might. I can never remember where, whether millwood is a picky grower or not. I don't think so. We can just put them in the roof there. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Let's make those the highest priority because they are the highest priority. Oh, actually, if we put them over here, this might be better. He can't dig through a bisolite, though. The real question, of course, is how many... Get yeah, that, nice. Uh, how many millwood can support one, one, one duplicate? I don't know. I don't know. Didn't sound like I knew how to speak, either. Mild chlorine infestation there. Maybe we'll not do these last ones. Oh, look, we've got a nice oxygen pocket over here now. Okay, I'm not sure how breathable it is. It's a, it's a mere 21 grams. Man, the source of oxygen is so far away. No wonder it's not coming up and round. Ah, uh, how how have you done this? I just suddenly got a, a warning of suffocation. I thought it was the dude on the other... Uh, we, we, we were over here. I was just looking at this. I was like, how can I get enough oxygen across? Maybe I'm going to have to build a gas pipe. And then, boom, I got hit with a suffocation warning. But it was Hicks. Hicks has managed to dig himself in here. I've really got to, like, make this a high priority. Dude, you got to, you got to get out like that. Go, go, go. All right, that, that should now make everything okay. But yeah, this guy over here, we like, I'm going to have to snake some pipes around because he doesn't have the skills to do it any other way. Okay, we're just gonna have to see what he does. We're just gonna have to see what. Oh, he likes to likes to farm. Okay, that's good. That's good. Got a got a big pressure issue though. Uh, that's what these pipes gonna sort out. Hopefully. Oh, we've got a research complete. Also, a colony achievement slipped us by. Oh, it's the the uh, solid sorting. That's beautiful. The uh, the filtration and stuff. And what what achievement do we have? To pay the bills. Use your duplicate skill point to buy out an entire branch of the skill tree. I don't. Ah, oh, that would have been the uh, the critter. The ranching, not the, the critter. Lol. <laughs> okay, we're down to zero calories here. That's a little bit worrying. Almost like very worrying. Uh, down to a thousand calories. We can't do much about it. Okay, we're going to have to perform an emergency maneuver on the other side, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely a problem. All right, let's, uh, let's bring ourselves back into a, a slightly less uh, speedful manner. Uh, I, want, I, want, I want food sent through here. You, you know it. You know it. One of these two. I don't, I don't know how many we've got, but it needs to happen. It, um, uh, for, for future, no, it really helps if you take the now manual use. I was like, why aren't they moving anything? All right, here we go. <laughs> the first thing we need to automate is the kitchen. Like, by by far. By far. That might be the next thing we need to, uh, to, uh, to check out. All right, Ash, how, how close to starving actually are you now? You're about halfway. Shall we just preemptively move you over here? I've got a got a feeling we're gonna need it. You know, ponds are on the way. Okay, I hope you've got the breath. I really do. Okay, this is good. This is good. All right, the stuff goes in. It gets pumped across. Uh, let's turn let's turn this 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 uh, alarm off now. Got more food going through as well. That's good. That's good. And over on this side. Hans is, uh, Ash is just sat there eating. Beautiful, wonderful, amazing. Okay, we got the last piece in plate. Oh, no, Ash. Oh, no, Ash, what are you doing? You, you need oxygen? You've got oxygen, my friend. Why are you trying to hold your breath when you are surrounded by oxygen? Maybe it's not enough? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, this should now... Unfortunately, we've got to, we've got to wait for this to start uh, bringing its way through. It takes time for gas to flow, you know. It takes time for gas to flow. But I really want to get these built. I really, really want to get these built. So let's have a look and see. Ash's number one, number two job. One, one of these, who knows. Uh, making some power first. That, that's kind of good. Okay, here comes the gas. It is flowing. That means the only thing I want to do before I end the episode is get this uh, stable built. I want I want to see Ash stroke the hatch. Am I allowed to say that? Is that demonetized? Oh, we've got a bigger problem than I realized. We're pumping in gas at 14 degrees, but it's it's cold. It's it's cold. It's cold, cold. 
Now we can we can get a space heater on the go, but it's not it's not the most optimal solution. I'm not sure what would be, so we're gonna go with it for now. Okay, we're starting to get our next compost heap up and going, so I'm gonna ask Hicks to uh, to knock these down, but priority four, so not until he's done everything else that he needs to do. Can't help noticing that the oxygen doesn't flow anymore, and whilst we do have a glorious 1500 up here, and the 1500 grams is about what I like to go for, it's the same in the main base. Uh, what, what's going on here? We're, we're just not, what, why isn't Bishop doing the things I'd normally see Bishop do? Generate power, generate power, generate power, maybe we need a new operator. Oh no! Ash is missing the skill point he needs for critter ranching. Ah! I'm hoping that making all of this here will help. That that's my plan. That's my plan. Bit of farming, bit of construction, running around doing stuff. I mean, what more does Jupiter need to level up? I think it would save me effort if I put some radiant heat pipes in back here now. I I think it would. I mean, there, there, there's literally nothing stopping me clicking this. I'd, I've got plans for steam turbines, and I've got plans for solar panels. I can't make either of them yet, though. Oh, this is going to take a while to warm up. Seven, eight, five, yeah, yeah, a very long time to warm up. Well, we're now warming up down here. Hopefully this is going to have a... Uh, an instant knock-on effect to the tiles around. I mean, it's at nine degrees anyway. It's not It's not much further to go. 9.4, look at that. We're already going up. Of course, we've got no refined metals on this side, so we're not having a thermo sensor. Well, I was kind of hoping to automate a lot of the feeding and picking up of the coal of the hatch here. Uh, just have our boy Ash go down and give him a stroke every now and then, feed him a little bit of sandstone, dirt. I'm, I'm not sure what materials we want to feed him. Uh, possibly dirt. We're making a lot of dirt. Uh, then we can make him into a sage hatch and get like uh, one to one coal for resource as opposed to the half to one as you get for the hatch but then pick that up with a sweeper and send it back and then have the coal uh, kicking off coal power kicking off somewhere unfortunately i don't think we're gonna be able to get that to that, to that today uh last time i checked the recordings we were getting pretty long and i've got a feeling i am gonna have to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure ladies and gentlemen i will see you guys next time where as i say we're going to expand our hatch ranchery over here i also would like to start working on maybe some metal refinement of course we have got the uh, the composter over here being re moved as well and uh, I think most of the major inefficiencies here are coming from the inconsistent packet sizes that are being picked up so maybe we can get to a Rodriguez as well big plans of dropping water down onto the lava and then using a steam turbine to chill that water down maybe collect the salt somehow and uh, siphon off the water use it for creating more oxygen and maybe even uh, I don't know cooling it down for duplicate use but I'll see you then oh when we're gonna do that Bye. Yeah. Oh look, the crop's growing. <laughs>